and hello. Now, chances are you don't want users signing up into your application with fake emails like this one and using the functionality of your application. And in this case, you will want to install that device strategy name confirmable. So you can restrict the users to access your application to actually log into the application unless they have confirmed their email address. So let's actually make it work. Now, if we go into our user.rb, when we install device, there is this device confirmable, an optional device module that we can install. And if we go to the device documentation, we can see confirmable sends emails with confirmation instructions and verifies whether an account is confirmed in the application. So the task is we should not let users with the fake unconfirmed emails use our application. And for this, we will install device confirmable. Now, if we open the documentation, actually, it gives us uh, a few additional database tables that we can add to our user model, and it gives us methods to confirm users to send the confirmation instructions. So let's try to install device confirmable and see how it works exactly. Now, again, if we go to the device wiki, here we will see a guide to installing device confirmable. So how to add confirmable. And I really recommend adding device confirmable to any Ruby on Rails application running device of indication that you are working on. So adding confirmable to our user.rb. Now you see we have previously already added device trackable. And now we're going to add device confirmable. So we're adding device confirmable inside our user.rb. And what else should we do? So we should run a migration and add confirmable lines to our user's model. So we'll type rail generate at confirmable to device. Okay, and now in the migration, we need to add some uh, columns. So let's see what the uh, device wiki provides us with. So the confirmation token confirmed at, so when the user was confirmed, then when the confirmation instructions was sent, then uh, reconfirmable, so unconfirmed email. What is reconfirmable? We can actually read about this inside our initializes device.rb. So you see, when we install device, there are a lot of different uh, settings for device that we can uncomment or use. So let's see what reconfirmable means. Let's go to device.rb. I search for reconfirmable, and it says uh, any email changes should be confirmed. So imagine a user logs into the application and he wants to change his email address. So he would change his email address and uh, he would get an email uh, where should he should confirm that he wants to definitely change his email address. So let's actually add the column users unconfirmed email. And uh, what else should we add? That's it. I will just uncomment this and run the migration. And you see, notice this. By default, when you run this migration, it updates the confirmed ad to all the previously created users by default. So when you run this migration, if you don't comment this out, then it is going to automatically confirm all the users that have previously been created inside the application. So we are actually going to comment this line. We'll make it so that each user previously created has to confirm his account, okay? And now I will run the migration rails to be migrate. And actually let's have a look back at device.rb. So here we have the configuration for confirmable and there are a few different settings that we can change. So by default, a user cannot access the application if his account is not confirmed. Let's actually check this. I will start the Rails server and refresh and you see it says you have to confirm your email address before continuing. So I was logged in, but it logged me out because I need to first confirm my email address. If I press log in once again, you see, I still get this error. So I would need to go to did, didn't receive confirmation instructions, add my email and send the confirmation. Now you should of course have your email sending be configured in production. And I've got a few other videos covering this, but you see in the console, we have this email that was sent. So here's the email and it is an automatic device email, a welcome and the email name. You can confirm your account by going to this link. And here is the link 
that the user would press and you see it has a confirmation token. And when the user adds this confirmation, goes to this confirmation link, then his account will be confirmed. Let's try to do it. So I'm going to add this slash users slash confirmations and the confirmation token and see if my account gets uh, confirmed. So I add this link and you see it says your email address has successfully been confirmed. So now I can log in and it works. So I have successfully confirmed my email address. Now let's actually also display whether the user has confirmed his uh, email address in our user's view. So here we have the email, the current sign in IP, and we will also display the status of the confirmation. So we'll go to use views, users, and here we will add the, an option to see whether the user has confirmed his account. Now going to modules device uh, confirmable, there might be a true false check. Yeah, here it is to see if the user has confirmed his email address. So we will add user.confirmed and it would give us true or false to see if he has confirmed his account. So we'll have user.confirmed and here also. So now I'm saving the changes and I will try to open our user's view and see if it works. Now it says if we don't have this user confirmed, okay, I actually mistyped it. So confirmed, okay. And now I will see, and you see one user was confirmed, the one that is actually logged in this user and the other one was not. Let's create one more user. So I'm going to create a new user, I sign up, and uh, it actually brings us to this unit sign in before continuing. But actually, let's have a look at our console. That was an email sent. So you can confirm your account through this link below. And I would need to first confirm my account before signing in. So again, I would need to add this link or open my real email and uh, press the button to confirm the email. And you see, now we can uh, log in as that account. So let's take that account. And we have successfully logged in. Now going to device.rb, let's go back to these options. For example, you will want to let users access your application for some time before they confirm their account. You would uncomment this line. By default, it is zero days. You can make it two days or two years or two minutes, whatever. Then another option would be within what period of time the user should confirm his account. So for example, the user can access the uh, application for two days without confirming his email address and then his access will be blocked. So for example, he has to confirm his email address within three days or the confirmation token will expire. Now, you can uh, set it to some kind of period of time, but I would leave it as it is. So I wouldn't allow unconfirmed access at all. And I wouldn't uh, make the confirmation token expire. And uh, let's uh, try to also log in, be logged in and change our email address. So here's our email address. Uh, let's add the vote changed. And input our current password to make the changes and press update. And see if it works. You see, we get this, you updated your account successfully, but you need to verify your new email address. And going back to our console, we see that we got uh, an email where we should reconfirm our new email address. So I would uh, take this link and reconfirm my email address. And here you see, my email address has been updated. I did not have to log in again. And uh, it is more secure than just letting a user update his email address by only inputting password. He has to actually also confirm his new email address. And it seems to work really well. Mm -hmm. And now one more thing, let's try to sign up 
as a new user just once again. So I'm going to get some kind of email address, a password, sign up, and uh, we cannot access the application before we confirm our email address. So we go to our email address, we copy this confirmation link, and you see, again, we need to input our email address and password to log in. And we can actually automatically log the users in as soon as they confirm their email address. So how can we do it? We would uh, go to the confirmable documentation and there is this option to sign in the user the moment he confirms his email address. So to do this, we are going to create a confirmations controller. So we would go to our controllers and better we would create a new folder named users and inside the users folder we would create a confirmations controller.rb okay and inside we would uh, add this code so first of all it is confirmations controller now i think it would be users confirmations controller because we are nesting it and it is more correct than just keeping it inside our controllers and we're adding this after confirmation path and uh, what would the path be? Let's say uh, it would be root path or it would be posts path. Okay, and now we need to actually make this uh, controller accessible in our roots. So we would go to our uh, config roots.rb and like this, we would uh, say device for users, controllers confirmations would be slash users slash confirmations like this because we nested it inside the controllers users folder and now let's see now the expected behavior will be that when we uh, press the confirm my account button we will be automatically signed in so i'm going to sign up as a new user i press sign up and now I'm going to go to the link to confirm my account. And you see, I'm automatically signed in and redirected to the post path. So this is basically everything you, you need to know about the device confirmable. And I really encourage you to use it in your application in order not to have users using your application with fake emails. Thank you.